Number number five is the video of a guy who was out bass fishing. Anyways, while he was bass fishing, pretty much this bag come like strolling down the river. He actually thought it was trash at first. Anyways, then he seen it was actually money inside. So he threw down his fishing pole and jumped into the river and retrieved this money. Anyways, it turns out that this money was actually fake and someone was just like really playing a prank on him, he thinks. Anyways, I'm gonna go and let you guys see this video. What the? No f***ing way. Is there money in that? Oh my god. 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 That's not real. There's no way. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's no way that's real. In the water? No. Oh my god. No way. No, that's not real. There's no. What the? Oh my god. I was just fishing right there. What the? It was like something out of a movie. Oh my god. Is this real? It looks real. There's so much. Oh my god. I, I'm, I'm shaking. I don't know what to do. Do I call the cops? Oh my god. What do I do? Oh my gosh. I don't know. It's like four thousand dollars. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It was in this bag. Just literally floating. I think I need to go. Dude. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my gosh. I need to call somebody. I need to call someone. Oh my gosh, do I call the cops? I don't know if it's real. It's wet. It's kind of ripped. Oh my gosh. I'm an idiot. Someone's trolling me. Fake. For motion picture use only. Oh my gosh. Who does that? Oh my gosh. I'm getting pranked or something. This is. Coming to number four is a video of a motive vlogger. Now this motive vlogger actually found an insane amount of money laying in one of these like ruins from his houses. So anyways, he was like traveling through the, you know, trails of this desert and he stumbled across this house. There was like an old ruins of it, pretty much like trash laying on the grounds and pretty much like the random things all around. And anyways, he found this briefcase and he went back to go retrieve it and actually had like around $500 in it. He like calculated it. Anyways, it's definitely pretty insane. Actually, you know, a pretty cool part was he actually, you know, pretty much thought this could be a, you know, drop off point for like a drugs. You know, I really don't know about this one, but you know, if this is his area, he probably knows more about it than I do. Something, but. Oh, that's tight. Like a little, a little briefcase. <laughs> that's pretty dope. What the fuck's in there? Probably like a fucking hand or some shit. What? You gotta be fucking kidding me. You gotta be kidding me right now. No way. No fucking way. This is not real. This can't be real. Dude. Oh shit. Dude, no fucking way. $40. These are all... These are all ones, like, somebody was going to go to the strip club or something. There's got to be, I don't even know, one, two, three, four, two, four, six, maybe a hundred bucks a piece? Maybe? Oh my god. What do I, I feel like, like I'm going to get jumped right now or something. Like, I feel like somebody planted this here and somebody's just going to beat the shit out of me. Like, what do I even do? There's, like, literally a... Look at that. There is a stack. There's a stack of fucking money just laying here. This is... One, two, three, four... Five, probably 500 bucks. I don't know if these are $100. It's probably close. Estimated 500 And then it's a couple of random 20s. Oh, my God, dude. What if that's some, like, cartel, like, 
or some drug dealer drop off or some shit. Like I wouldn't doubt it. Like that's just their little, I don't know, their, their stash point or whatever. They're like, hey man, the cash is there. Go drop the drugs or something. Oh my God, dude, that'd be insane. Already overdid my stay there. I needed to get the hell out of there before some weird shit happened. Like. Coming number three is a video by Ed the Beach Finder. Now, Ed actually ended up finding over $110,000 in cash on like a pretty much like an island. I'm not really sure where he found this at, but it was definitely like a beach. And he actually does like Melly Texan videos throughout like the sands at beaches. Pretty awesome if you guys ask me. But in this video, he didn't actually end up digging up the treasure. He was just walking down the coast and he ended up seeing this like duct tape box sort of thing down below on the side. And he actually went over there and opened it up and he's seen a stack load of cash inside this box. Now later on throughout this video, he actually reveals that the total amount was $110,000. Now throughout the video, he also ended up saying that it was actually an April Fool's prank on his subscribers. I'm not truly certain about this one, but if you guys think this money is fake, let me know. I guess he was saying that it's April Fool's prank because, you know, we did it with the subscribers. But who knows this money actually been real. Let me know what you guys think of this video. Oh man. No way. Oh, oh, oh no. Woo! No way. Oh my god. Oh hell no. Look at that! Oh my god! Look at that, there's stacks of them! Oh! Maybe a drug boat or something went down with drugs and money, I don't know. Oh, hell no! Ay, cabrón! Ahora le puedes apones! Ahora si le pegué recio! Oh! No mames, there's like 10 grand right there. Puta. Coming to number two is the video by the Beach House. Now the Beach House actually ended up having this awesome family who goes around to these insanely awesome treasure hunts. In this video, they actually ended up finding like a little note pretty much that like made it as like a treasure map for them to find like a bunch of different little places that they were able to find little treasures that led to an insanely awesome big treasure. Now when they found this big treasure, it was stack loaded with a bunch of $1 bills, which they ended up later on giving out to some of their fans and you know, just giving it out to random people out in public that needed money. Anyways, it's definitely really awesome, but the next where they also found within this little treasure map it actually led them to a you know painting pretty much that had a bunch of guns in it which is insane because this is definitely like something that they would not expect in their house when they bought this house I bet and I have the key right here <laughs> wow oh this is so cool dad open it I am going to. We just found the treasure. <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> Coming to number one is the video by Storage Auction Pirate. So as you guys can guess by their name, this video was actually, you know, shot in a storage auction. Anyways, they actually ended up buying this storage unit at an auction, pretty much, you know, as described. But anyways, when they bought this, you know, storage unit, they actually ended up getting inside and they found this safe. When they cracked the safe open, it had over $26,000 in this safe, which is definitely pretty insane if you guys ask me, because the chances of finding this are going to be very slim, and they probably were having such a lucky day once they found this. It's definitely really insane. Let me know what you guys think of this one. Personally, to me, this is my favorite one out of this entire video, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Picture, Jamie, I'm trying to take a picture. Hold on a second. Let him see that how many 50s and shit are right there in that Just stack. Just checks. 
Twenty fifth birthday, oh my god. How come Pearson couldn't pay her fucking shit? That's what I was thinking. What the fuck? Oh my god. Yes. Holy shit. Are you fucking kidding the me? This is like fucking for twenty grand. Oh my god, the fucking thing's <laughs> Like I mean, look, one, two, three, four. I mean, there's five oh. grand right there. Oh. Oh. Who knows what's in that? Look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh my fucking god. Look, I'll look in that. All 20s. Uh, wow. Jesus. That's fucking almost three there's grand right there. 1,550 right there. Oh my god. Oh wow. Who was this person? Here's some pink slips. 